that had commute schedules, had to get to work, had to uh, care for people, had to have medical appointments. I want to thank them for their patience and for looking at a North Star with us. The city of Seattle under my predecessor's leadership, the SDOT crews and all of the people, I think the people saw this day coming. That even if you see something co coming, when you feel the inconvenience in your life of having to experience it, those sometimes words are, are hollow. So we want to thank the people who will be impacted by this. And I hope that our media conveys somehow, you're probably going to spend about 10 seconds of what I've said today. But if that one part gets conveyed, uh, we've done our job. Thanks. Thank you for everyone who's been inconvenienced by this. Thank you very much. And as Mayor, thank you so much for your leadership. And thank you so much for everything you're doing to continue to push Seattle in the right direction. I want to offer a special thanks to everybody who has been involved with this, including my colleagues, Senator Murray, Congresswoman Jayapal, Commissioner Mohammed, and obviously uh, the team that was mentioned as part of the task force, uh, former Mayor Greg Nichols and Pauline Lopez for their contribution on this. Obviously, Sam Zimbabwe, who is here, but Mayor Durkin, who literally had to leave one of the most challenging aspects of this project and making the decisions and moving us forward i want to say a special thanks to both of you for your leadership and uh to heather marks who has My name is Buki Mohammed. Today we are here for the opening of the West Seattle Bridge and I'm here with Hamdi. Can you speak on a little bit about what we're doing today? Yeah, absolutely. So I am Hamdi Mohammed. I'm a Port of Seattle Commissioner and we are here celebrating the opening of the West Seattle Bridge that the bridge is important to our transportation, it's important to our, um, it being an international, uh, we're an international gateway, and so to move goods in and out of our region, that West Seattle Bridge is important, and the Port of Seattle is proud to have invested $9 million into the repair of this bridge, and this couldn't have been possible without the partnership of both state, local, federal um, uh, leaders coming together to make sure that we put the appropriate investments to get the West Seattle Bridge open. So today's, today's a celebration. Yes, thank you. And we have a now bridge that's free for everyone to use, that's safe and ready for Sunday. Thank you. Okay, hi, my name is Wookie Mohammed, and today we are here with Rinta News at the opening of the West Seattle Bridge. And I wanted to just get a few words from Heather and Ethan about today. Thank you. Hi, it's so nice to be with you here today. I'm Heather Marks. I'm the Director of Downtown Mobility and the West Seattle Bridge Safety Program at Seattle's Department of Transportation. So my role in this uh, has been to manage all of the construction as well as the traffic mitigation and all of the communications. So I've been in charge of the $175 million project that has been the repair of the West Seattle High and Low Bridge. How has it been? Was it overwhelming to deal with all that information? Well, I, I was very well prepared for the job. Um, it was an emergency, so we had to get things together very, very quickly. So it's been, you know, it's been stressful and it's been a lot of hard work, but I've had amazing support from all of my colleagues at SDOT as well as other transportation agencies around the region. Thank you so much for all of your help. You're and welcome. do you have any words today, Ethan? Well, so I'm the press secretary for SDOT, and so I just, I'm in charge of talking about this stuff, 
but I just want to thank all the hard workers um, out there who have worked so hard on this. And I really want to express that gratitude for the people of West Seattle and the uh, Duwamish Valley, so Georgetown, uh, Highland Park, Del all these neighborhoods have seen the effects of the detour traffic and have been through so much in the last two and a half years, not to mention the pandemic. Thank you so much for your patience during this time. Thank you all today. Thank you. This is Mookie Mohammed. I am here today with Runta News at the opening of the West Seattle Bridge. And I just wanted to ask Congresswoman Jaya Paul just to say a few words about today. Well, we're so excited for the opening of this bridge. It's been a long couple of years for our West Seattle residents, our businesses, our entire city, all of the workers, everyone who has gone through so much. And it took, we sometimes say it takes a village. It took a village um, here to make sure that we could get the bridge back working and um, to restore West Seattle and all of the neighbor, neighboring places, uh, White Center and everywhere else back to the city of Seattle, create a unified Seattle and a safer bridge for all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you. listening. Please make sure to share, like, and subscribe to Runta News Channel on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.